have no difference in this physical world or the spiritual beyond. I am talking about ghosts. <laughs> we are spiritual beings in a material world. In grade four, I believed in ghosts, but I really, really didn't know why. Maybe it was because they were interestingly scary. And I now still believe in ghosts, but I do know why. And in fact, you should believe in ghosts too. Believing in ghosts can especially improve happiness. It worked for me, and it can work for you too. It's about feeling disconnected. In life, you'll lose people important to you, people you love because of either distance, maybe even death. It could be you or a best friend moving away, or worst case, someone you love dies. It can be so overwhelming. When you feel disconnected, lost, life stops. You stop making friends, achieving a life with your family, or even maybe work and school. Basically, all bad. And I know this because it happened to me. Four years ago, the year of disasters, my family moved from Richmond to Surrey. My new school had bullies. And my only living grandpa, he got extremely sick and he died. For my mom, she plunged right into depression. The part of her died too. But fortunately, I knew how to help. Because I met annoying Chloe, who taught me all about ghosts. Fourth grade, Sammy and Mature Elementary, it was my first day. And I felt so small and humiliated. The tall boy named me Midget. Everyone chuckled, and all I could do was fake smile and walk back to my seat. There's more, but here's the point. I really don't know how it feels for you, but when I feel overwhelmed because nothing is going right, I disconnect from the world. It's like escaping into a bubble. You're acting normal instead of being normal. Everyone is on the tip of your nerve, literally annoying. When bad things happen, escaping into your bubble can feel so easy. Recovering, on the other hand, can feel impossible. At lunchtime, I'd escape into my own little world. I was making no friends, so I didn't even try anymore. Instead, away from the playground, I found an isolated area, just a quiet little place just for me to read. Until one day, a totally annoying stranger, brunette pigtails, blue bows. Now she's walking over and sits right next to me. And the next thing I know, shy girl, what are you reading? I won't talk to her. I won't speak, but she won't leave. She looks over at my book cover. Shy girl, ghosts aren't real. And you know what? I just had enough. And I'm telling her, I'm Brianna. In this book, Invisible Ghosts, the brother dies and comes back as a ghost to protect his little sister like an actual ghost. So they are real. Then annoying pigtail stands right up. Shy girl, ghosts aren't real unless you dressed up this Halloween. You nose in a book believing in weird ghosts. Afraid of new friends and everyone when I'm right here. Me, Chloe, a regular human being. <sighs> Our argument got so heated, we didn't hear the first bell. The second bell rings and we rush back to class. We are the last ones standing in line. The teacher's about to fling open the door. And standing by the door, the tall boy says, Oh, hi, midget again. I felt humiliation returning, and I was wanting to escape into my bubble. But this time, Chloe is right here. Don't you call her midget. 
you could hear a pin drop. Everyone turned. Her name is Banana. Brianna Banana. <laughs> Everyone laughed. Everyone laughed, and I laughed too. And this time, instead of humiliation, I felt like I really did belong. And I laughed, but not a fake laugh, a real laugh. A brave friend can sometimes really make all the difference. If you see someone sad, lost, or maybe even disconnecting, you can be like Chloe, be that annoying friend. And at home, mom became a walking ghost of herself. And you could really, really tell because she never smiles anymore, is always zoned out, and doesn't do her favorite things anymore. So I knew to be annoying banana. <laughs> but at school, as new friends, I believed in ghosts, but Chloe didn't. So I had to prove her wrong. So I did some research. In psychology today, I read that 50% of American elderly can still experience hallucinations, ghosts of their dead spouse. And it's actually a normal part of healing. And I also read about the human ability to sense outside presence. Your brain has that. In fact, there's a formula. You need to combine two ingredients to activate a simple ghost. The first ingredient is magical thinking. Maybe as a child or maybe even as an adult, you had an imaginary friend or maybe even owned a good luck charm. The feeling of charms, wishes, or even thoughts can influence luck, things beyond your control. That's magical thinking. The second ingredient is heightened awareness. You know that feeling when you're walking down that dark, alley, you're walking and listening so intensely to see if anyone is around being hyper aware, well that's heightened awareness. When you combine magical thinking and heightened awareness, poof, you just activated a ghost. And ghosts are real. Over the year, Chloe and I have very, very deep discussions about ghosts. Until one day, I realized she understood it better than I did. It's fall. Chloe and I are sitting down at that same bench where we first met. And suddenly, Chloe says, Brianna, I'm moving to Kelowna. Wait, what? Chloe, that's so far away. Chloe continues. Brianna, remember when we first met and we were arguing about ghosts? I gave it some thought, and I think I'm going to leave some of my spirit, my ghost with you. I'll split it, and we can share it. <laughs> and you see, this was totally new. I never really thought in this physical world you could have a ghost, a spirit, and split it and share it with others so they can have your spirit too. Chloe said it like this, Brianna, anytime someone is mean to you, my spirit and ghost will be right here haunting them down. <laughs> and even if you feel alone or lonely, my spirit will still be here. And as nine-year-olds, me and my best friend were picking up fall leaves over the ground, throwing them over the fence and shouting, invisible besties forever. <laughs> besties as in best friend. Someone who will always be there for you. But this time, it's spiritual. And you see, that's really how Chloe taught me about ghosts and ghost spirits that can be split and shared. And ghost spirits that can comfort each other. And to my walking ghost mom, on the other hand, that still hasn't recovered from grandpa's death, all I told her was, okay, mom, so... 
I always have Chloe's spirit with me. And you can have Grandpa's spirit with you too as your ghost. You can use your magical thinking and heightened awareness. Magical thinking as in believing in good luck. Heightened awareness as in, at night, quietly listen to Grandpa's presence. And soon enough, you'll feel him as your ghost. Mom looked shocked. Probably didn't believe me. Maybe she even raised a crazy daughter. <laughs> and two days later, Mom takes me to her room. Pictures of Grandpa filled all over her bed. And you know what she said? She told me, Brianna... Let's spend time remembering Grandpa. That day we cried and we laughed. Remember the times when we, Grandpa made dumplings for us. The times when we biked fast that corner 7-Eleven. The times we even ate ice cream at the park. And I really, really don't know for sure, but I do think my mom listened to me. Mom is slowly reconnecting with her family, becoming happier, and most importantly, she's almost back to her normal self again. Call it a hallucination, a ghost, or maybe even an invisible bestie. Our brains are pre-programmed to experience ghosts. And in life, you will lose people important to you, or maybe even people you love, because of either distance or death. And disconnecting from the world, falling right into sadness, escaping into your bubble won't make anything happier. When you see someone you love or care about, suffering loss, like the times I moved schools or my mom lost grandpa, you can be just that annoying friend, pop them out of their disconnection bubble so they can reconnect into this world again. Share your spirit. And if you lose someone, you don't have to feel disconnected either. Because we are spirits in a material world. You can use your magical thinking and heightened awareness to be with theirs. Like how I'll always have Chloe's spirit with me and Grandpa's spirit also with me. We are truly spiritual beings in a material world. Distance and death can never ever disconnect you from the people you love the most. And just remember, just remember, ghosts are real. <laughs>